Well, greetings to everyone. You join us here on a snowy evening ahead of the big match. And these weather conditions have, of course, been the major talking points, indeed the major concern in the hours leading up to kickoff here. You can understand why there was a point during the course of the afternoon when we wondered whether the game might indeed have to be called off. But a lot of people have put in a lot of hard work. Indeed, members of the public have been enlisted to uh, come down and form some sort of an army against the elements they've done really well against the odds the pitch is clear and indeed the, the public areas have been passed fit and safe for purpose truly this is a remarkable stadium the Allianz arena a symbol of cutting edge technology and architectural perfection Boca Juniors have gone with a 4-5-1 Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. And already we're underway here. Forward it goes. Has a hit! And it's a goal! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal too is a bonus. But this game has already taken on a real attacking edge and, and long may that continue. His position was perfect. The invitation was there for him and his response absolutely clinical. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish. Boca Juniors take the early advantage. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Gets it out. Salvio Boca Juniors are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it out towards the flank he's in shoots oh it's diehard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line very impressive Felipe Melo plays it forward to get it forward quickly Palmeiras get it back again beautifully done Felipe Melo dashing forward at pace what an adventurous run from a defender and it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing hoists it forward He's made sure that that won't get through. Boca Juniors are leading with half-time drawing close. Takes it over to the other flank. And it's Salvio. Out to the right. Gets away from his opponents. Up for the header! Oh, that was no routine save. I thought the keeper did well to... And there's the end of the first half. And here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first-half performance and the scoreline. 
They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Boca Juniors head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. Well, hello and welcome along to everyone who's uh, joining us for our live broadcast today. We are full steam ahead for this from the gantry, but we have to report to you first up that the match itself, whilst not jeopardised by the weather, certainly may have its dynamic affected by this torrential, sterile rain which is uh, upon us and which has appeared almost from nowhere in the uh, hour or so up to kick-off. It could prove a considerable test for the officials and certainly for the players. We do have our fingers crossed that it won't affect the uh, game itself. But I'll tell you what, this could be a bit different. Little question that this is one of the most striking structures in all of sport, the Allianz Arena. As you can see, we've already started here. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Of course, Antoine Griezmann. He's got a bit of everything, Peter. Speed, great technical ability, and the priceless gift of being able to make all the right decisions at the right times. Personally, I really like the way he can always take a little touch to give himself that half a yard of space. He needs to get a shot away, and he doesn't miss too many either, does he? Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Rakitic. Barcelona are experts at this stylish possession-based game. Well, we're talking tiki-taka. Uh, a lot of short, crisp passing, and, and once the ball is lost, they quickly try to win it back. It's a decent ball. That's offside. Yes, it is. Being played forward. Wagner cuts it out. And it's played forward. Oh, that's neat. Rakitic. Messi. Roberto, Messi, good challenge, he just stood firm, is there any support, he might not need it, a reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary, he's through the middle, a real chance to break, Griezmann, Longley. Rakitic. 
And it's the whistle for half time. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. We are in this super stadium for a super club, truly one of the iconic buildings of 21st century sport, the Allianz Arena. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to set... Very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Throws it out of harm's way. Aubameyang. Granite Xhaka. So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much a dress code. Truly, this is a remarkable stadium, the Allianz Arena, a symbol of cutting-edge technology and architectural perfection. A mouth-watering game, this, between two very high-quality sides. A treat for everybody here. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. Like I said, he's given away a free kick. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal. And he didn't go for the back heel. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside.
Pjanic. Chan. Chan spreads it towards the left. Can he deliver? He's good for it! A great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Benucci. Arsenal still to register a shot on target. Obamian. Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead question that this is one of the most striking structures in all of sport, the Allianz Arena. If you're just joining us, we are already on... He's gone for it! He's scored! And it's Vasco da Gama who take the lead! Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. Vasco de Gama ahead, one goal to the good. Looks to bypass the midfield. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. It's Martial! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Vasco da Gama are enjoying a good spell right now and leading. Tries to get it forward quickly. Lindelof can get it clear. And that's put paid to a promising move. Juan Bissaka. Looking to break out here. Hoists it forward. Manchester United have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Plays it long. Juan Bissaka does well to read it and intercepts. Martial gets into a dangerous position. Castan. Vasco da Gama are leading with half time drawing close. Long ball, but not especially accurate. 
Juan Bissaka. And it's played forward. Gets away from his opponents. And it's Juan Massa. He's come loose. Over to the left. That's going to be the final action of the first half. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But still had its moments. But ultimately produced just one goal. It was a decent game up to now. Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead question that this is one of the most striking structures in all of sport, the Allianz Arena. The action has already started. Now it's Salvio. Shot a goal! Goal! The breakthrough strike! Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Boca Juniors go ahead, one goal to the good. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Wrong way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. And the finish! A real chance and a real let-off. Daniel Alves, and it's played forward. Juan Fran, Daniel Alves. Boca Juniors, 
are in control here on the brink of half time. And that is as far as they're going to go. Drives it towards the front. Danny Alves gets it back. There's the whistle for half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Boca Juniors, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time.